Hello everybody, welcome to Leaked Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco, here for another episode. And um, decided to do a little Beaujolais. And uh, it's kind of hard to find Beaujolais for 10 bucks or under, except for uh, the Louis Jadot. Now Louis Jadot is pretty much available everywhere. Um, this is a huge producer. Uh, this is the 2008 uh, Louis Jadot Beaujolais Village, or Villages. Village, probably village, um, and that just means that uh, it's a step up from just a regular Beaujolais uh, wine, uh, but it, it it means that the grapes can come from anywhere in uh, Beaujolais. Now, if you were watching Sommelier School, and I understand that you know if you're not really into getting the really really geeky about wine, you may not want to watch Sommelier School. Um, may not be your thing, but um, Beaujolais is in the southern part of Burgundy. And that is in the eastern part of France. And um, this is a 100% Gamay uh, wine. So Gamay is the varietal that's used in Beaujolais. Beaujolais is not the name of the grape. Um, and then the rest of Burgundy is uh, Pinot Noir. So, uh, but in, in uh, Beaujolais, the, the, the Gamay grape does very well. Now, um, and Louis Chateau is just, you know, they're one of those producers that produces a lot of wine, they, and, and they don't just produce this, but they produce a lot of stuff in the Burgundy area, uh, including Beaujolais, and, um, you know, it's just widely available. As far as I know, they, they produce just decent quality stuff. I've had some of their other stuff um, and other things, so, I mean, it's not like it's really horrible. All right, so let's check it out. All right, the nose is pleasant. I don't really say it very often. It's got a little bit of candy to it. Um, like red candy. And I just got a little bit of earthiness too, so it's kind of like all over the place, I guess. It's funny because it's alternating between a little bit of earth and a little bit of like sugary candy, but not like not like really sticky sweet candy, but just kind of like you know like a like a hard candy kind of smell to it. Actually, it almost smells like um, one of those blow pops. So maybe it's getting a little sweeter. Let's taste it. See how it tastes. Tastes like a blow pop too, um, but not really bad. I mean, there's some dryness to it from the tannins. Um, it was that you get an initial like blow pop, you know, like that hard candy um, uh, flavor to it, and then it just kind of goes away really quickly, like it disappears. Yeah, it's real, it's real thin. It's kind of, it's kind of watery, to be honest. Um, oh, it was eight ninety nine HCB plus. Forgot, like just like yesterday's episode, I forgot to put the price. Um, this isn't nine dollars worth of wine. I'm telling you that it like disappears. It's like gone. So I'm drinking water. Um, I'm really disappointed in this one, and I haven't been really disappointed in a wine in a while. I said, you know, I just, I like wine in general. So, um, I tend to really like wine. And I think some of my scores are, while I don't give 90s out very often, I tend to give out mid-80s a lot. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of wine I do like. Um, yesterday's I wasn't bowled over by it, but it, by mo no means it wasn't really bad. But this is, I think this is worse. Yeah, it tastes like, the more I taste it now, the more it tastes like just grape colored, or grape flavored water. Ugh. 70. Sorry. It, 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 I wasn't going to go higher 70s, but as I think about it more, I mean, if it's this bad, if this is this watery, don't buy it. 
And I've had other Louis Jadot, so maybe this is just a bad vintage for them. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just this particular bottle isn't that great. I mean, it's not corked or anything, but it's definitely not for me. I've had uh, George de Bouffe, you know, the Beaujolais Nouveau. I've had better from that. And I don't drink that very often, but I've had it a couple times, and it tasted better than this stuff. I mean, I'll finish the bottle. Just maybe it'll get better. It gets a little air in there. I mean, I'll put the vacuum vent on there, so... But um, I don't suggest to buy this at all. I, I'd almost dump it out. But I'm not going to because I'm going to taste it. Anyway, uh, we're going to finish drinking it uh, sometime this week. So, um, you know, don't buy it. I'm going to take that off camera. Anyway, um, oh, yeah, that was the cork. That was the screw cap from yesterday. Um, so, uh, what else? Uh, Videos going everywhere. Um, over the weekend, uh, I forgot to say this yesterday, but over the weekend there was some uh, the, these cable companies, uh, St. Joseph, Missouri. Shout out to those guys. They keep um, they keep putting my stuff up, which is awesome. So I hope they put more of this stuff up. And um, if you're a winemaker and you're watching this stuff, you want to do that virtual tasting that I did with Cindy from Passaggio, uh, hook a brother up. Let me know. All you got to do is just send me a bo one bottle. You don't have to send me a ton of stuff. Send me one bottle. Uh, we pick a date and time to do the uh, Skype video interview. Uh, if you need help with the setup, let me know. I can give you some technical advice um, and some technical help as to what you need to do. But you know, obviously, it's better if you have some kind of techie locally. Like you know, you have a friend of yours that's really kind of good with computers because it's a lot easier to do that type of stuff with in person. But I can you know walk you through it over the phone. I even have a way to like log into your computer to help you set up some stuff. But Skype isn't really that hard. I mean. It, 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 it isn't, trust me. Um, so uh, if you want to do that, it'd be a great way to showcase your uh, showcase your wine. Uh, and you might actually get out into some cable stuff. At Cindy's, uh, Cindy's episode with Passaggio, uh, it got set up on the cable companies, the St. Joseph. And then I don't know all the cities, but it looks like it's Northern California, San Francisco area, because it said Sacramento was one of, the, one of the towns that's serviced by this cable company. So... Um, you never know. You might get on cable. Granted, it'll be midnight or 3 in the morning, but hey, somebody's watching it. Click the links. Friend me up. Hit Sommelier School. Buy some books and some stuff from Amazon. Anyway, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it or not, but, you know, hey, there's stuff on there. Go check it out. Maybe you like something. Maybe you don't. Who knows? That's it. I'll see everybody again tomorrow. Thanks for stopping in.